you often refer to the uh, a woman's erotic genius and I was just wondering if you'd be able to explain what that is. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Erotic genius is something that emerged later in my career. It's, it's, it's conceptually always been with me. I just didn't have the words to articulate this thing that I could feel in my own being and in the beings of all the other women that I had the privilege to work with. So let's first break down what those two words mean. Erotic for me isn't just sexual and explicit. Erotic if you look at the root word of eros and where it comes from, it means that which animates life. So there's erotic energy in all things that are fecund and proliferating in this planet. It's, it's an incredible energy. It's life energy. And then you have genius. And the, the origin of genius is quite old. And it, originally it was thought of as this, the animated spirit within a person that provides guidance. That, that leads them accurately through life through the act of inspiration. Isn't that cool? Yes. <laughs> so here we have within us aliveness, life, life force, sexuality, whatever you want to call it, the eros. You have this erotic aliveness and this genius, this inner guidance, this inner impulse through inspiration creativity that is leading us through life. And we don't need to do anything about this because we are innately born with it. The only doing this, if there was any, is to recognize that we have it. Erotic genius is, it acts out unconsciously at first. It's the parts of us that um, have erotic innocence. When we're children, we're just naturally exploring, you know, sensuality and sensation and pleasure. And then we have hormonal bursts of energy. That's erotic activation. We're we're teenagers and things are changing. We're becoming more and more sexual beings, more sexual creatures, right? And we're discovering, wow, sexuality has power. Um, and then we go more into adulthood and we start to explore, well, what is this realm? Mm. And so we explore and hopefully we explore everything and anything from a pure state of curiosity. Not right, wrong, good, bad, but just like, what is that? Let's try it. Oh, didn't like it. Okay, let's try this thing. Oh, I like that. So it's an exploratory time. And then there's a point in our evolution sexually, which I'm not sure maybe you're there right now. Um, Jackie, you can let me know if this uh, resonates. But there's a moment where consciousness meets body, where you suddenly think to yourself, there's got to be more to sex than this. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's more, but I don't know what it is. And so then we start seeking out things like Tantra or Taoism or conscious sexuality. We start to look at, is there ways um, that I can connect with this powerful energy, but more consciously, like meditations or certain practices with my partner or certain practices alone with myself. That's that part of the, act of the, the journey of the erotic genius. You get to a stage. But in the stage, in all those first four stages, we're still reliant on external validation and external feedback. Mm. And when we get to finally the fifth stage of erotic uh, genius, which is the erotic wisdom, we suddenly drop into being sexually sovereign and we um, self-activate and we um, kind of self-validate so that if our particular experience of pleasure isn't written about anywhere in the world, it doesn't matter. We know it exists because we've experienced it and we validate it for ourselves. So erotic genius has many expressions, some of it conscious, some of it unconscious, but it is always the current that runs in our system that is making choices to keep us on the path towards pleasure, to keep us on the path. What turns you on? Not just sexually, but what's turning you on in life? Mm because there's no separation. If what you're looking for in career, to be really successful, you need to be turned on by that. It needs to inspire you. You need to wake up in the morning and go, yes, I get to do this. That kind of turn on is what's gonna create a lot of vitality and health and aliveness in your body and it comes from your erotic genius. And I can say a lot more about it, but I just take a pause there. Yeah. I'm wow. Raving about this and I'd love to uh, give you a moment to say something. 
Oh my gosh, seriously, this is just amazing. And yeah, you hit the nail on the head from where from the point I'm at at the moment. Like I'm at that beginning stage of exploring um and I I've had experiences in the past where I know that there's more to it, but I I guess it has I have had a lot of shame around it and so I've been afraid to explore myself and explore that side of things again. So it's now that I'm kind of starting to do that again and what you've just said like literally oh it's just amazing what you've just said is just resonating with me so much and yeah thank you for sharing that that that's brilliant